Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 330. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 329 to 331. Hey, we want to see how to use DSUM and DCOUNT to count between two values. Here's the two values. We have a bunch of values here, kids scores from a test and we need to count between 155 and 176. And we're going to use the DSUM. There's lots of other ways we could do this. Um, and the DSUM requires that you have the field name, and we just have one field with the scores. Field name in a cell and then the criteria right here. And since we have two, an upper end greater than or equal to 55, I'm sorry, a lower end greater than or equal to 55 and an upper end less than 176, we need to put the two criteria in two cells, but both of the criteria have to have the field name above. Now I put the 155 and 176 here and I'm going to create a formula to create the criteria. Equals in double quotes greater than or equal to n double quote and then the ampersand is the join symbol and we click right there. Now this is creating a formula to make it easy on whoever's using this so they can just change the number to 165, say, and then that formula updates, which will be our criteria for DSUM and DCOUNT. Now, if you know how to use this criteria, it's just as easy, right, if this was the assumption area, to just type greater than or equal to 165, and if you want to change it, then change it to greater than or equal to 155. But again, we're trying to make it easy for someone else to use, so they'll just change these ones. The second criteria is equals in double quotes, less than in double quote ampersand, and the 176. So there we have our field names and criteria. Now we can do count equals count. I'm sorry, D count. I must be asleep. D count. The database the field name and the criteria. Database is the whole database including the field names. Control shift down arrow and I'm going to hit F4 to jump the screen back. Comma, the field, that's the field name. So we're going to, I'm going to click right here since I already have it there. Comma, now the criteria needs field name and criteria below. And we have, two, and criteria in the uh, D count and D sum, D functions, functions, no problem if you have mu uh, multiple uh, field names, but criteria below, and that will do it. It will count just like that. Now, if your data is not set up like a database, then this method uh, won't work, but if it is and you put your criteria here in the cells, then it works just great. Now, I'm going to um, scoop this out, control C, actually the whole thing, control C, escape. Put it into edit mode, control V, and just change the count to sum, because everything else is exactly the same. Control enter. So there it is, using the uh, D count, D sum. If you download this workbook, there's a count ifs, which is a 2007, and a sum ifs, which is a 2007, and then a bunch of other methods. An array method, which the wizard in earlier versions used to do, count if method, and a sum product. All right, D count, D sum, see you next trick.